morning, ladies and gentlemen. I, first of all, I have three rebuttals to make. First one is um, the, the, the opposition side told us that if we, take, if we have a mandatory test and, and the infected students will find out about their infection and they will be embarrassed, um, it will be embarrassing and we, they will co it will cause discrimination in school. Well, how about if we don't test it at all and we let them um, live in HIV and spread it to the world, is that what you want? Because embarrassment is not the reason why we shouldn't have to taste. And for your information, drinking from the same glass or touching is will not transmit the HIV. And as my whip, ha, as my government government whip has said before, education is not the, the the solution because well, in every school we have sex education and it still shows that that um, the transmission is not um, is still still going on. Okay. Mandatory HIV test saves lives, and saving lives is our first priority. There are almost 6 million people out there who are HIV positive, and 75% of them is unaware of their infection. And that's why um, mandatory testing is so important, because if we have no mandatory testing, nobody is ever going to find out about their infection. And that's why the number of the infection is still increasing. Mandatory HIV test saves lives of the infected people, so they will have healthier, longer lives of more quality, and it also saves the lives of those innocent people who is unaware of what their of what people this virus might bring to them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have two arguments. First one is economic benefits of mandatory HIV test, and second is benefits of early HIV detection. HIV, a mandatory HIV testing not only saves lives, but it also saves money in the long run. You might think that um, HIV testing costs more money than the voluntary, you mean, I mean, you might think that mandatory testing costs more than the voluntary one because in voluntary testing anyone can take the test, which in reality um, a really low number of people are willing to do so because they are embarrassed and afraid. Um, in, but while in mandatory testing, everyone is going to take the test no matter what. And the truth is, mandatory testing saves money in the long run. Um, Illinois Chicago University, led by Dr. Lily Imaglou, did a research on comparison of money spent among mandatory testing, voluntary testing, and no testing at all. And the research stated that mandatory testing saved two hundred seventy thousand dollars compared to voluntary testing and why is that so ladies and gentlemen because those people who are infected with HIV will be given a treatment at his early stage of infection as soon as possible and that saved the money spent on the treatment later on and the study also showed us that mandatory testing saved three million seventy thousand dollars compared to no testing at all um, the reason is because neither voluntary testing nor no testing can stop the HIV transmission, which is the cause of it all. And we have to spend money on to fix. We have to spend money to fix the outcome, which is more people will be infected with HIV, and that will be just endless. But mandatory testing will pre provide us early detection of HIV infection, and that will stop the transmission at the cause of it. And so, no more people will be infected with HIV than it, there already are, and that won't require much more money than it already does right now. So, mandatory testing does not only save lives, it also saves money in the long run. So, you see, voluntary testing doesn't work, because not everyone is going to take the test, well, obviously, either because they are afraid of the result or they are just confident that they are not infected. But look at it, look, let's look at it this way. Um, when, when they know about their infection, it will be too late to do anything. And who knows who, how many girls have they spread AIDS to? And worse, if there is no testing at all, imagine nobody is going to realize they are infected with the world's fourth leading cause of death. And that, so if it's 
if we hold no testing, your body is going to realize about their infection and, and they will transmit their HIV infection to their partners and if they break up, they will have new partners and they will spread it to their partners and if they have, new, um, if they have children together, and it will spread to their children and it's in a circle, ladies and gentlemen. And what will happen? Um, the population of Thailand is going to be infected with HIV. It is HIV epidemic disaster. And someone has to do something about it. And it's our job as a government to, to be to be in charge before this country ceases to exist. We have decided what is best for our country. And we decided medical testing is the way to go because it will do the greatest good to the greatest amount of people. Any POIs? No, thank you. <laughs> Early detection of HIV can prolong the duration and quality of lives. Um, CDC did a research about behavior changing in people with HIV positive and 90% of them reportedly changed their behavior in a good way. So this saves the lives of those people who are infected to have healthier and longer life and they will save the lives of those people who are at risk of infection. And early detection help reduce the likelihood of transmission. As I said previously, the people with HIV positive will be aware of the infection and that will benefit us because other people's lives are safe. And if we have the mandatory test, people will know about their infection and 90% of them will change their behavior and no more infected people will show up. And this proof and early detection of HIV is proved to save money in the long run. As I told you in my first argument, er the earlier the HIV is detected, the less money there is to be spent. And preventing the transmission is obviously better than spending money on the treatment. So these are the benefits of um, mandatory testing. I'm going to summarize my speech. My prime minister has talked about mandatory testing saves life and it is our first priority to do so. And I have talked about economic benefits and benefits of early detection.